Yo, what the frig's going on? Nothing uh, in particular today, uh, but I just want to mention that uh, I teamed up with uh, Bear Arms Tactical, and we're putting the shirts back in circulation again. Uh, when we stopped doing them, I was getting a lot of uh, emails, and they were getting emails, and how come you're not doing the shirts anymore, so we're going to do them again, and they're available now. They're the Second Amendment shirts, they come in all different colors, all different sizes, even real big sizes, because we know uh, Armory Channel subs, some of you guys are built just like the Armory Channel founder. That's me. Yeah, I said founder. I don't know. We had they have the um, the gold leaf, which is the black one here. That's the gold leaf. It's like a special edition one. It's it really looks like gold. It's really it's not tacky looking. The camera is not doing it any justice whatsoever. Okay, it looks like ten times whatever you're seeing through the camera. It looks twenty to ten times better. Or 10 to 20 times better than uh, what you're seeing as far as color. So I just want to put that out there. Um, it says the Second Amendment is my is my carry permit, and it has my logo on it. Not much of me on it, but more of a statement, especially now with all these kooks we got out there running for office. Okay. So I'll put the link under the uh, video. And no price has changed, everything's the same, we're just going to do it again, and uh, that's it, we're good to go. It's, it's, it's ready. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is uh, how the holsters are going, and I wanted to show you a new cone that I put on my Sig Sauer MPX, and yes, it works. This is a set uh, I just did for, I'm pretty sure, a police officer, or a friend of one. And this is a Glock 43 with a mag pouch, both inside the waistband, right-handed. And I'm finding, since the new equipment I got, the holsters are coming out a lot more cleaner looking, more factory looking, and that's you know that's what that's what gives me the thrill. Get getting them to look as perfect as I can. So since I made an investment with the vacuum press and the heat press. Um, as you can see, to my eye anyway, since I've been doing this for a little while now, uh, they're very, very clean looking. So I'm going to show you the stuff I got. And before I do that, I just want to thank one more time to these awesome guys that do how-to videos on these Kydex holsters. And uh, first guy I want to thank is Roger from Cus Roger's Custom Kydex. He gave me a lot of great ideas uh, I was doing a lot of stuff that was unnecessary that was slowing me down he showed me a lot of shortcuts and uh, uh, he's uh, very knowledgeable so I want to thank him first the other guy as far as YouTube goes there's, there's really only one guy I watched and that was John from Filster Holsters uh, him and there's another guy um, shit I forget the name but he, he invents a lot of tools and all kinds of, he invented the channel site thing and all that. So I watch these guys and I, I get their ideas and then I do my thing. And I just try to do it as best as I can in my own way. So there's an inside the uh, waistband set there. So yeah, I want to thank them guys, uh, Filster, Roger, all them guys. Because without them, uh, I wouldn't be as far as I am right now as far as learning. So this is with the vacuum press. Here's another one I did with the vacuum press. And what I like about this one is, as you can see, uh, this is a new material from Knife Kits. It's called Raptor. It looks like snakeskin. It looks just like leather. And it feels, believe it or not, like leather. But it's not. It's called Holstex. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, very clean look compared to what I was doing before. Here's what I was using before. It was just an old fashioned press, which I, I still do use this because I can't use the vacuum press all the time with certain, because I don't have split molds. The vacuum press works best with the split board molds, which I'll show you in a second. I don't have a lot of them. They're very expensive, very expensive. So I'm just trying to buy one or two a month right now. 
Um, so when I had to do it the old-fashioned way with just a regular blue gun, uh, I used I just used just the regular press. But what really speeds everything up for me is um, having tools like a drill press, having tools like the flat iron, which I discovered on Filster's videos. That thing is amazing. It works so well and saves me so much time, and I don't lose any any definition in my holsters because of that tool. So once again, I give credit where credit's due. So this is what really speeds everything up here. Uh, instead of using a toaster oven, I got this heat press. It's pretty much just like a, a heat press that you use for iron ones. And it really speeds it up. And then we're talking about you put a piece of uh, Kydex in a toaster oven, you're sitting there waiting for at least 15 minutes for the thing to heat up. And you got to bring it up in little increments at a time so it doesn't shrink. It's just a whole bunch of bullshit. This, you put it down, 60 seconds, done. It's ready. So there, there's uh, 15 to 14 minutes saved right there. Okay. And then I got this beautiful vacuum pump. This is a good one. Uh, it's about 300 bucks. So, I mean, if you guys are thinking about doing this, uh, it's, it's expensive. You can start out with the toaster oven and all that first. It's very cheap that way. But if you find that you think you might be good at it and you want to advance, it's good to put this money out for this stuff. So there's the vacuum pump. That's one of the best ones out there. It was about 300 bucks. What can you do? Uh, the heat press, by the time it shipped and all, it was like $290. Now this is the thing that makes the holster nice and clean looking. This is my HD 200 vacuum press. Okay. So there's the split molds. There are a lot more than blue guns. Blue guns are from $40 to $50. These things are $80 a set. It sucks, but I just, you know, going to buy little bits at a time, but they really are really worth it because you've just seen how clean them holsters look, and it's because of this beautiful press. Instead of me waiting 15 minutes when it's in the press, now I wait two minutes. Two minutes. So I got 60 seconds there, two minutes there, there's three minutes and I'm already ready to draw out my holster and cut it out. So this was uh, ex very expensive. This was like trying to remember what it was 450 bucks you know this is the 200 it's a little bit bigger it's not the biggest one they have the they have the 300 the 200 and the 100 uh, I would recommend at least get the 200 uh, for just to, so you have enough room to work okay and then this is uh, everything else is over here is what I've been using you know to do that so I mean this ain't a holster channel but I just wanted to show you what I've been doing and how good they're coming along really been busy just locally you know not even I'm not really taking orders on the internet but you know when I'm ready I will right now I'm busy enough just with uh, local police departments and uh, just local people alright let me show you what I did to my MPX oh sorry I should have at least showed you the holster with a gun in it right here's the inside the waist Glock 43 this is my Glock 43 as you can see it's hot you can see the trigger is forward with the Glock um, slides in real nice, nice positive clip, and good retention, and Roger hates when I say this, but I, I call this the bat wing, because it looks like a bat wing, I think it looks pretty cool, and no, it does not get in your way, it just looks nice, gives the holster some style, so there's the fit, and they're really starting to look the way I want them to look, really, really close anyway. All right. Oh man, I'm oh, man. Am I big? I ate like three balls of cocoa puffs last night. Jesus. All right. This is my uh, for the fourth time. You guys are saying this. My MPX. I put this gas cone on here. First thing. Let's let's make this uh, safe. Okay. Uh, one guy mentioned, how come you don't keep one in a chamber? I do keep one on the chamber. But before I do a video, I take it out. Is that alright with you? Jesus, man. I just, uh, I'm a safety dick. You know what I mean? 
Anyway, the NPX, what I did with it, um, I put this gas cone on here. Now, you got to remember, uh, the threads on an NPX are tapered threads, so when you're screwing it on, it's going to feel kind of wobbly, and it's going to feel kind of wrong. You know, it's going to be like, wow, is this supposed to go on here? But once you get it tight, it'll straighten out, and uh, it'll be fine. But, what I found was I put it on hand tight, and then gave it a quarter of a turn after that. After 100 rounds, it got loose. So, uh, once again, blue Loctite. Uh, I put a couple drops of blue Loctite, put it back on, made it hand tight, got a wrench, gave it a good half a turn, and now I, I had a couple hundred rounds to it, and it's fine. It's nice and tight, and uh, there's nothing wrong with using Loctite, especially in that situation, I think, is uh, uh, crucial with those kind of threads. So it worked. So it's not coming off. If I want to get it off, I can still get it off because the Loctite is not real severe. So the purpose for this is not only does it look really cool because that's what uh, I think it looks great, but it does keep the gas out of your face. Uh, usually when I'm shooting this gun, it puffs and, and it's like you can see the gas and the smoke is all right in front of your face. What this does is it's shaped like a funnel inside, like a horn. So it, it kind of like puffs it forward. Now the guy next to you might not like it. <laughs> Because the guy next to you said, said to me, uh, yo, what are you shooting, a fucking musket? I said, no, I have a gas cone. Oh, cool. Because he's seen the smoke coming over, you know what I mean? Cause instead of it coming back at me. But it does work, and uh, it makes it way more enjoyable to shoot the gun. And uh, I love it. I'm, I'm keeping it on there. It works great. The Burris Optic is still holding zero. Works great. I moved it back just a little just because of my eye relief, because I'm getting old. And uh, everything's great with this gun, man. This is the Gen 2 MPX, so if you get one of these, uh, I highly recommend you get one of these gas cones. They're not expensive. They're 40 bucks. $40. I mean, it's worth every penny. Remember, the MPX has its own specific left-handed threads, so make sure when you get one of these, it's for this, the, it says MPX next to it. It's for that, okay? forty dollars that's it that's all I got for you today guys uh, I love the NPX uh, it's, it's one of my favorite nine millimeters I'll talk to you guys sooner or later